And it's not just COVID-19 cases that are on the rise. Many Michiganders are surprised to learn that they're sick with the flu and not COVID. And here to talk about the rise in flu cases, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, thank you for joining us as always. Flu season seems to be peaking later than usual this time, and we know symptoms for these two viruses can overlap. But can you just give us a refresher on the differences between COVID and the flu? Absolutely, Brian. And here, you know, a lot of my patients who are convinced that they had COVID when they were actually sick with the flu, and I get that, right? A lot of similarities when it comes to COVID-19 and the flu, Brian, because they're both upper respiratory infections. For example, you know, both can cause symptoms like runny nose, sore throat, fever, cough, sometimes difficulty breathing and body aches. So how can you tell them apart? Well, a loss of taste and smell was one kind of a telltale sign you had COVID-19 as this rarely happened with the flu, but that's changed. Those symptoms are not as prominent anymore. Another indicator was to look at how fast symptoms came about, how they appeared, and symptoms tend to come on faster with the flu, whereas it, take, it can take longer for a person who has COVID. But, but here's the bottom line. Right? The only real way to find out, right, if you have the flu or COVID is to get tested. We have tests for this. Otherwise, it's very difficult to tell the difference between the two viruses just by looking at symptoms alone as they can be nearly identical. And I found myself in that situation not too long ago. It wasn't COVID, it was the flu. But we know that both COVID and the flu can result in severe illness. Is one worse than the other? Yeah, I'm glad that it was, it was the flu and not COVID. And I'll tell you why. Both uh, the flu and the COVID-19 can be asymptomatic, mild, or severe. Both, Brian, can lead to complications. We know pneumonia, respiratory failure, sepsis, fluid in the lungs, cardiac injury, multiple organ failure, the list goes on and on, inflammation of the heart, brain, or muscle tissue. Also, both the flu and the COVID-19 can be fatal. But your question, right, is one virus deadlier than the other? And I, to me, the answer is yes. COVID-19 causes more serious illnesses, which can lead to hospitalization and death. And while most people who are at risk are older adults, pregnant women, and, and those folks with underlying medical conditions, we know that severe illness and death can happen to even healthy people. And that's why I was happy that it was the flu for you and not COVID-19. Also, some folks can develop post-COVID symptoms. We've heard about this. It can last weeks to months, and long COVID can happen to anyone, disable them, even if their symptoms were mild or asymptomatic. The good news, right, is that we have vaccines for both these viruses, COVID-19 and the flu, and that can help you prevent serious illness and death. And that's an important point. And it's never too late to get either vaccine, especially now that we're seeing the flu season. Man, it's May, right, the middle of May. The flu season's dragging on longer than usual and rising cases for both these viruses. So again, you know, my soapbox, please get vaccinated for both if you haven't done so, because we can really save some lives, yours and the person next to you and your family. Yeah, and, and it's catching some of us by surprise that, oh, yeah, we forgot that there's other viruses out there That's because exactly we've been right. stuck in this pandemic for so long. Dr. Nandy, thank you. My pleasure. And if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Glenda?